Greetings, Mesa Storm here. Today we are making ourselves some sort of Dutch baby Yorkshire pudding hybrid. And my secret ingredient is some of this uh, date molasses. I've got one and a half tablespoons here in this uh, vessel of the measurement. And it gives a lot of sweetness to this end product. I've got half a teaspoon, maybe a full teaspoon of cinnamon here, Sargon. And then I have one cup of flour two eggs and of course one cup of milk or cream in this instance milk now, this is a really easy recipe to make it's really hard to screw up unless you burn it and this is my third attempt making the video the other two times I uh, burnt it at the end when that kind of sucked this time though this time will be different we're not going to cook it as long and everything will be fantastic that way it's really hard to tell with this recipe when it's done, so it's kind of a little bit tricky that way. And it's really hard to get molasses out of a vessel. A little bit of a fork for persuasion, also known as a knife. And then we get all of our ingredients combined in our bowl, and then we simply give this a stirring for a couple minutes. It really doesn't take that long. I think my raw footage of this was just over five minutes, so... This video is not that much shorter. And there we go. We get it all nice and combined. Now what we want to do once this is prepared, maybe even a little bit before this is prepared, we want to preheat our oven and our, our oil. I'm going to be doing it in this loaf pan here. So we're just kind of covering the bottom with some uh, olive oil or some other higher temp oil. And we're just going to throw that in the oven at 450 degrees and we're going to let that warm up for about 20 minutes. And here we are, looking at the inside of an oven with a dish in it that represented the dish that we had from before. Fantastic. We pull that out, but first we're going to put down our little air pad here so we don't burn our table. And then we simply throw it down, and then we pour everything in it, and then we throw it back into the oven. Now what makes this really hard to tell when it's ready is that if you open it early, it kind of collapses on itself. And how much it has to rise is kind of hard to determine as well. So I left it in for about 20 minutes or so. You're probably almost better off undercooking it because it's so easy to burn this. But it's so delicious and it's so easy to make that you can have any meal, throw this on the side, and act like you're a sophisticated individual. And that's just fantastic. I'm a big fan of being a sophisticated individual. Oh yeah. So give this one a try, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And maybe this wasn't the batch that I didn't burn. Who knows? Stay awesome.